What's up guys, Show 3 by 4 here, bringing you another video, finally. When you guys see this, it'll be 18 days since I've made a video, and I want to, I want to kind of clear some things up, um, because I don't have to like explain myself, but I'm going to, just because I want to be, I've just been watching my videos kind of lately, and I just, I'm not doing videos the kind of the way I want to, I want to be able to be like upfront, open about everything with you guys, and so much has happened in the past, I don't know, month? that it's just, it's a lot to catch you guys up on and this video is gonna be all of that. So this video is gonna be updates on the show, updates on the truck, updates on Ryan's Trailblazer SS, um, update on my life, and update on what's gonna happen in the next couple months, update for next season. It's gonna be a crazy video, so just hold on and be ready. First things first, the thing that I'm always gonna take care of first is update on the show. The good news is everything is still going steady, slow, but steady and that's not a bad thing. Back in February, me and Justin, we tore down the transmission and got that all torn apart. That is still where it's at today. Okay, I'm not gonna give away the whole secret because I do wanna make it all a video. Justin has been working on something very specific um, in which my transmission, because I have no car to put it in yet, because my motor, which I'll get to in like 10 minutes or 10 seconds, is still not done yet, I have no hurry and no rush for this transmission to be done. So he's been starting to get on it uh, lately, but he is in the middle of something very, very big, which hopefully in the next couple of videos, you guys will find out what it is. But he's been taking care of some very, oops. <laughs> he's been taking care of some very big business. Um, and that's why he, that's why the transmission is not done yet. And I also, doesn't bother me because I have no car to put it in right now. Um, and the next point is the motor. The motor is still down in Atlanta. I just talked to Doug two weeks ago. Um, he got my first check and he's been working on it. He said it's a slow process, which again, isn't really a bother to me because I want to get this car done, yes, but I'm craving more of the building fast things right now and that's kind of what I'm getting into. So I'm kind of, at first I was kind of like, I want to put my money into the show, which I'm still going to. The, the car is still going to be restored, the car is still going to be everything, but I want to start getting more into the racing scene and not like professionally racing, but more like more like putting money into something to make it better. And uh, so the show is still, the motor's being done. I'm actually kind of hoping for about March is when I will be able to go pick it up because that's when I get you know, a good paycheck and, and that's just when everything's gonna work out the best. Um, so I'm hoping that March is gonna be when we can go pick that motor up. So as, as right now, that's kind of the only, that's kind of the only news, news with the show build. The next thing, this is gonna be the longest is the ram so my truck <laughs> let's see let's go back the last video i made was of me doing a clutch fan delete on the truck just getting rid of the clutch fan and running e-fans only but pretty well um and then i also i said in that video i said the truck is getting tuned this weekend which it did that weekend it got tuned and that's a whole nother story and i'm not going to get into it too big basically the truck did get tuned and I don't know how to say this in the best way. It wasn't, it didn't end up being what I thought it would be. And we started, it got tuned by somebody that you guys have never seen before on this channel. After a couple of days of driving it, I, me and Justin and Ryan hooked it up to the computer and we noticed the things, a lot of things that we didn't like. Let's just say it like that. And uh, so the truck is back to the stock tune and it's probably not gonna be tuned for a long time because just things weren't, things weren't, the way I, I guess I wanted and I don't have time right now to keep dealing with a tune. I've got other things to take care of which I'll tell you guys here about in a second. So I wasn't too big and focused on getting that tune figured out. So the truck, yeah, it got tuned but it's back to stock now and uh, let's just say that things just didn't go as planned with that and it's all back to stock and that is a whole, that like that that part's done. The The tune isn't probably gonna be happening for a while, and when it does, obviously you guys will know about it. So the next important thing with the Ram is, uh, if you guys know, if you guys don't know, I'm getting married in May. Uh, made a video on proposing to my girlfriend, my fiance now, that happens September, and our, my wedding, our wedding is in May. One of the biggest things I need for that wedding is I obviously, it's a dream of mine to do a 
just massive giant burnout at the wedding. That's gonna happen. And that's my number one priority now. And you're wondering why is that your number one priority right now? You know, it's November. I have an open diff. <laughs> my truck, I love my truck to death. It is an amazing truck, but I have an open differential. Here's where another story comes into play. Uh, two weeks ago, I got the money saved up. Actually, Ryan and Marty, shout out to them. They're my best men in the uh, wedding. They helped me buy this differential as a wedding gift. So I got the money all acquired and I started to go, I started digging into it. I wanted to go buy one. I wanted to buy a true track because I didn't want a clutch style because the clutch styles wear out. I wanted a true track, you know, spline, I don't remember what it's called, spline driven, gear driven. It's just, it's, it's way better than a clutch style differential. And I wanted one of those. So I messaged most performance and I wanted to make sure it would fit my truck and everything. And they told me a true track for a 2011 and newer Ram 1500 does not fit unless you get 2009 and 2010 ring and pinion and 2009, 2010 driver's side axles. And I was like, are you gotta be kidding me? Like this $600 differential turned into $1,500 worth of stuff uh, with fluid and all that kind of stuff. So I said, okay, um, maybe I won't get a true track because I don't want to buy new axles and new gears. I just want to buy a differential and do all the supporting things to that and call it good uh, because I'm not laying down a bunch of power. So I figured, you know, when that day comes, then I will build my rear end. But as right now, I'm not building enough power and doing enough burnouts for that to matter. So I figured, okay, you know, I'll just go with another one. So I ended up going with a Yukon Duragrip for a Chrysler 9 and a quarter ZF. I bought it, it's actually, it's right there. It's right here. I bought it, this came in a couple days ago. And I got this, I got the special tool that you need for any RAM to set up gear uh, ring depth, I think that's what it is. I'm not too keen on rear ends. I know what's happening, but doing them myself is not my best thing. Um, I also bought differential bearings that go on the diff themselves and ring bolts, and I also bought uh, seals that you guys are actually sitting on, wheel seals, and then I bought diff cover gasket, and then I bought fluid, and then I bought additives. So this differential right here, this was about 600 bucks, and then the special tool was 50, the seals and gasket were 30, the bearings and bolts were 180, and the fluid and additives were 40. So it all on all close to being 900 bucks. I figured, okay, great, that's enough, that's all I need. You know, we'll get this taken care of. So I posted this week, because this is Sunday when I'm making this video, it's 11 o'clock at night, but I didn't want to I didn't want to keep pushing, I, I didn't want to keep waiting to make a video for you guys, I want to get this out. Hopefully you guys are seeing this Monday, or Tuesday, whatever day it is. But I'm making this Sunday night at 11 o'clock, because I just, I, I'm itching to tell you guys this kind of stuff. So I get the rear end this week, I get everything acquired, Tuesday, Wednesday this week. It's been perfect. Start talking to Justin, make because he's always my first option to go to if I can't do things myself. Because I can do a lot of things myself, but I can't do I don't do rear end work myself and like internal motor work. I know what I'm getting into, but I don't exactly know the fine specs of what I should be doing. So like for that kind of stuff, I want to go to him. He's my first option. My next option is Andy, the guy that I'm storing all my motor parts at to help me a while ago, he lives up north, whatever. He's my next option. So I message both of them, I say, hey, you know, I'm talking to Justin first. Justin, is it possible Sunday we can do this rear end? He says, I'm gonna try my hardest to make it open so we can do this rear end. I said, perfect. I talked to Andy, I said, hey, if, if my buddy Justin can't do this, are you available? He said, yes. So I'm like, okay, perfect. I've got, at least somebody can help me do this rear end. So on Friday, I post on a RAM page on Facebook and I say, you know, hey everyone, I got this rear end. I'm gonna make a video on it. If you guys are interested, you know, I'll link the video when it's done. I got something to install this weekend, I'm pretty excited. 80% of the people were excited about it because they don't know about this, so they were excited to see what it is and see how it goes. And about 20 more, 20% 20 of the people were pretty negative about it. They were like, get ready for to put three of those things in in a year, blah, 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 blah. Uh, they're junk, Yukons are junk. And mind you, before this, I looked up everything on Yukons. I talked to people that I know have done this before that didn't have experience with owning one with a Yukon but I've put money in at like dealerships. I talked to a guy about every day for a week because he used to work at a Dodge dealership about doing rear ends. And he said, you know, I'd go with the Yukon because that, they just seem pretty durable to me. I never owned one but that's just what I've been hearing. 
you know, I've done them and he was telling me all the specs and everything I need and all this kind of stuff, the special tool, all that kind of stuff. So, okay, great. I looked up reviews, couldn't find any negative reviews on the Yukon. Of course, now that I own it, you know, $900 later, I've got it sitting in my living room waiting to be installed. The day before I install it, actually Matt from Most Performance, he owns Most Performance. Most Performance, if you don't know, is a big, check them out. If you own a Ram, check them out or anything Hemi wise, actually. Uh, like truck wise, I'm pretty sure they own, they have a bunch of performance parts for Hemi trucks, like Durango's, Jeep Cherokee's, Trackhawks, Rams, all that kind of stuff. They have a bunch of performance parts for them. And I didn't know it at the time, I was just posting this on Facebook and he commented on my pic, on my post, and because I kept saying, everyone's telling me all these negative reviews, but nobody's telling me why these are junk. And he commented, he said, they're very weak, you know, the spider gears break, after a couple burnouts, you grab traction, the spider gears just break, shatter. He's sending me pictures of them. And that really got me to like, okay, I'm not installing this. Cause at first people were telling me, you know, my mine goes every six months and I gotta put one in twice, three times a year. I'm saying, okay, maybe you're, you know, you just didn't do it right. But when he told me this, you know, he's got 11 second Rams and he knows what he's talking about with Rams. And when he told me that and showed me pictures and kind of told me about, you know, this isn't the one you want to go with. I was like, all right. We're done. <laughs> I'm getting rid of this one. I'm turning it back in and I'm gonna go with a true track because you know I, I didn't want to have to spend more 500, 600 more dollars on axles and gears, but I'm gonna have to because I'm, I'm gonna do this right. And I could go with a Mopar one, but even people say Mopar ones are more reliable than the Yukons, but they're still not the greatest. And if you're gonna do this, do it right the first time and just get a true track. I think that's where I'm gonna, that's where I'm just gonna settle it at. Um, because people were saying, if you install it now, it won't even make it to the wedding. And I was like, that's my biggest, right now, that's my biggest concern is this thing has to make it to the wedding. In a 10 second span or 10 minute span, that's where I'm at with my rear differential for my truck. I bought this and I'm gonna be returning this one because I'm not testing it because <laughs> now that I bought it, I'm seeing negative reviews everywhere. I think Incredible Hemi on YouTube he had one, he shattered his spider gears within three months. Didn't know why, and now I'm knowing why because they're really fragile. So I'm not dealing with this, I'm gonna turn this one back in. I'm gonna get a true track, axles, gears, and then we'll settle all that crap later. December, I plan on, I need brakes real bad. I'm actually doing oil change tomorrow, so I'm gonna check on them again on my truck, but I need brakes, they're getting real low, and again, I'm gonna, anything that ever needs maintenance on this truck is just gonna get better and better stuff on it. So I'm gonna do power stops all the way around, drilled and slotted rotors, uh, Z36 pads, and they are evolutions, uh, calipers, all four, all four corners that all get in the works. That'll probably be December, end of December. You'll see in that. And then I'm not gonna go into too much detail because I know this video is already pretty long. But my truck needs headers. It's starting to get that tick. I'm at 127,000 miles on the truck, and these Rams anywhere from 120,000 to 130,000 they start ticking, they got a manifold tick, bolts break, it's a common issue on every single one. And I've got a little bit of a tick and I'm getting close to where I know I'm gonna need it, so I'm already planning for it. This rear end's gonna get done, these brakes are gonna get done, and hopefully January, uh, it'll be February, end of February, headers are gonna be coming on this truck. That's where I'm at, uh, because, and I'm really starting to want to put money in this truck because I wanna go racing a lot next year. I wanna have this truck be 13 seconds with just a couple bolt-ons, easy. It, was, it ran 15.2, if you guys haven't seen it, I'll link the video right there. It ran 15.2 at 87, all stock. And I wanna get this thing at least into the high 13s. I think that'd be cool. I think that's doable with headers and an intake and everything before the racing season comes up. But that's another video that's in months to come. So that's from out the Ram. Rear end's getting done. I just told you a whole story on that. Rear end's getting done. Brakes and headers are a for sure thing that's probably going, that should be happening here in the next couple of months. Uh, the next thing is uh, Chill Brothers RSS, nothing big coming from that. Uh, we just, we're gonna have a couple installs here. He's doing brakes as well. Actually, he'll probably be doing the brakes the same time I'm doing the brakes, because we're both getting pretty low on the on brakes and getting, they're getting pretty bad. So, he's gonna be doing brakes on the Chill Brothers RSS. Same thing, power stops, calipers, drilled and slotted rotors, pads, all the good stuff, same thing. A tune, because he's already got headers, so his tune should be coming. Justin, Justin, we will all be uh, tuning that truck on the channel, you'll see the whole process. So the Trailways SS will be getting tuned, we'll be getting brakes, and I think he wants to get an intake done, and his front control arms should be getting done here in the next month or so. So stay, that's gonna be coming up as well. 
as far as Justin goes, I'm not gonna tell you the whole thing because I don't wanna spoil it, I wanna make a full video on it, but Justin's got some business going on behind the camera that you guys probably don't know who Justin is. Justin's one of my good buddies. He uh, helps me helps me a lot of installs and kind of stuff like that. And he's one of my like best friends. We talk all the time, every day. He just you guys never see him on camera because whenever we're hanging out, it's usually just I can't spoil it. We're working on something and drinking a bunch of beer. That's all it really is. So it's never it's never really come on camera before. But um, that's the situation with that. As far as my life goes, I am in the middle of trying to figure out living situations and where I'm gonna live. I'm going through moving and kind of stuff like that and trying to actually get my own place in the next couple of months, maybe. I'm trying to get, before the wedding, before I get married, I'm trying to have a place maybe by March, April. Obviously it's gonna have a garage and I'm trying to get it set up to where I can be doing a lot of good stuff to my cars and installs and kind of stuff like that and video content for you guys. Cause I'm starting to really want to get into this, being a pretty big, or pretty steady YouTuber and I need a place to do it. I don't have any place to do any of my stuff. I'm always asking people and relying on people and it's not their fault when they can't. It's just, it sucks for me because I wanna be able to do things and when I can't do them, it's only solely because of relying on other people to either let me use their space or help me. So, you know, I'm trying to work on getting a place here in the next couple of months. It's gonna have a garage, perfect garage for me to do everything I need. And uh, that's kind of my situation. I don't remember what I said in the beginning. I need to like take a breath for a minute here because I just talked for like 20 minutes. Show's still going. The Ram had a couple hiccups this month with the tune being uh, not working out so well and the rear end not working out, but we're still getting the rear end figured out. Brakes and headers coming. Uh, Trailblazer SS, tune, hopefully brakes. Big surprise, big info to tell you guys on what's Justin's been up to and what we've all kind of been helping out on a little bit and And then my life is just I'm uh, moving up at work to make more money to be able to actually give you guys content So I'm moving up at work and uh, that's something to be figured out I'm still taking I'm out of school But I'm still taking ASEs to try and get my tools all situated so I can move up at work And it's just it's one thing after another tomorrow. I've got to schedule my ASE tests and if I can pass those two, I can get my toolbox. If I get my toolbox, I can make more money at work. And like I said, it's just a it's just a snowball. Then you know I gotta I'm be moving here in the next couple of weeks, and then hopefully in the next couple of months, moving into my own place. And there's just a lot of stuff going on, and I I don't want to leave I don't want to leave you guys in the dust because like I said, I haven't posted in 18 days, and it's just stuff's getting really busy, but it's getting busy in a good way. It's getting busy in a way of there's a lot of progression coming to the future. And hopefully hopefully by by May and June, everything will be steady. I'll be married, I'll be in my own place, and it'll just be a boom. Now I can focus on my cars and my life with my wife at that point. It'll just be awesome. So I can't wait, and uh, I just haven't been, I'll say truthful, I just haven't been full with you guys lately because actually so much has happened in the past 18 days since I've uploaded and actually that video happened like a week before that even so the past month has just been full of uh, <laughs> full of things going on so I hope everything I said made sense I'm gonna cut the video because I think I'm already pretty dang long so I'm gonna cut the video here I'm gonna edit this tonight and it's like 11:30 already but I'm gonna edit this tonight so I can get it out for you guys I appreciate all the support I appreciate all the Support on YouTube that's been going down the past month or so. My revenue's been kicking up and I have you guys thank for that. So I'm gonna get going here, I'm gonna get editing so I can go to bed to go to work tomorrow. But I hope you guys enjoyed, hope you guys stay to the end. Um, and if you do, I'm, I appreciate that so much. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next vlog.